We got some breaking news right now. Venezuela is releasing jailed Americans in a major prisoner swap deal. The Biden administration has negotiated the release of 10 Americans and 20 political prisoners who were being held in Venezuela. That includes all six Americans who are classified as wrongfully detained in that country. President Biden released a statement saying, quote, uh, these individuals have lost far too much precious time with their loved ones and their families have suffered every day in their absence. I'm grateful that their ordeal is finally over. ABC's Mary Alice Parks is here with me now and has been covering this. So Mary Alice, take us through this prisoner swap. How did we get here? Yeah, the White House says that this was months in the making. That the, the not only the, uh, leaders here at the White House, but the president himself personally involved in these negotiations. Uh, this is a big deal, Terry. And of course, right before Christmas, we can imagine that'll be a big part of the president's message as he talks about this in the next few days. He has said it is a top priority is, of his getting Americans who are wrongfully detained home. A little Christmas miracle. He's getting them home before the holidays. But look, Terry, this is also a controversial move. Every time the United States uh, engages in a prisoner swap like this, it raises those questions about whether uh, they are rewarding bad actors. When we are talking about the Maduro regime, an authoritarian regime in Venezuela that has not been cooperating to date with the Biden administration. They've been imprisoning political opponents, um, and, and the Biden administration has been trying to put pressure on them to hold free and fair elections. They say that as a part of this deal, uh, Venezuela is agreeing to part of that and releasing some of those political opponents who had been jailed. Uh, but this, of course, raises the question about whether there will be now an incentive for bad actors to take other Americans hostage. Those are the kinds of questions we're always asking the administration when deals like this are made. So there may be, thank you, Mary Alice, there may be one American who's not happy to be coming home, Fat Leonard, uh, <laughs> as he goes by, the, a notorious fugitive. He was the mastermind behind the worst corruption scheme in U.S. Navy history. I've just I'm just so first I think Fat Leonard is mean. He doesn't look that bad. But uh, <laughs> w w what's the story with this guy and why, why are the United States so keen to get him extradited to face charges here in America? Yeah, this is a huge story, Terry. I mean, he was involved and in, personally involved in, in, in leading one of the largest corruption and bribery schemes in the history of the United States, in the history of the U.S. military. We are talking about tons of top Navy officials who are caught up in, um, in sort of pay for play. I mean, these were classic bribery cases of, of goods and, and, um, and nights out in all in an effort to get better Navy contracts. Um, he was a true criminal that was found and caught and put under house arrest, but escaped house arrest, Harry. A remarkable story. He made it to Venezuela. He was captured there by Venezuelan officials. He was trying to get to Russia. Uh, the U.S. has been eager to get him back so that he can stand for a trial in this unbelievable bribery scheme. All right, so that is quite a story. And uh, welcome home, uh, Leonard. I'll just call him rather than fast. Leonard. Mary Alice Parks, thanks very much for being there for us at the White House. Appreciate it. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.